Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to get any Xbox 360 Gamer picture for free on your Xbox 360 console, whether that be JTAG slash RGH, a retail, or bad update slash bad avatar. First thing, you want to make sure that you are on and connected to Xbox Live, whether that be through a stealth server or using a retail console. As you can see, I'm using the Proto Stell server and I'm ready to connect to Xbox Live. Although in today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do this on an offline profile, but the same goes for a Xbox Live profile. So in today's video, we're going to be using the USB drive method to do this. So let's jump over to the PC. So on the PC, as you can tell, I have my USB drive plugged in. First thing we want to do is right click. Make sure that you have nothing in this folder. I'm just starting fresh with the USB drive for this reason, so that our USB is detected in Horizon. We are going to be using two programs, Gamer Picture Injector 2011 and Horizon. Both of these will be in the description for you to download. Back to the USB drive. We'll right click, click format, set that as the file system as NTFS, click start, click OK. Once that has been complete, just select OK, close. Now I'll unplug this USB drive from my computer and meet you guys on the 360. Now that we're over on the 360, make your way over to system, storage, and as you can see, we have our USB as unformatted. What we want to do is hover over any other storage device and press Y. Go to transfer content. And then right there, click on your unformatted USB. And you are actually configuring this. This is different from it being unformatted. So press A to configure it. And then configure now. Yes. This will take just a couple of seconds. Your device has been configured. Select OK. You can press B, 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 go back, and now you see your USB has a name set as memory unit. So now, make your way back to the PC. Now that you have plugged in your USB drive back into your computer, as you can see, our USB is now detected in Horizon. That is a great sign. So now, to actually download the gamer pictures and create a pack that you want, we're going to go to this awesome website called xboxgamer.pix. It has a library, I think, of almost every Xbox 360 gamer picture ever created, which is awesome. So. Or in today's video, for example, who doesn't like the target dog? So right here, we're going to be getting this gamer picture. So I'll move this over to the side. Go ahead, open gamer picture injector. And if you find that your game is not on this list, what you can do is you can manually add your game so that you can download that gamer picture. So that's what I'll be showing you here. So file, click add game. Game name, we're just going to name this Target Holiday. And then for our title ID, right here, we're going to be copying over that. Now one thing to note is this is case sensitive. So make sure that you do input the correct letter with it being capitalized. 585-70-A-58. Select OK. And then File, Update Games. As you can see, finished updating games. So we're good to proceed. 
And then now in this game tab, I'll just type in target. Right there it is. Now click search. And sometimes it can populate when you click search the first time, but also you can double click it. And just like that, normally it pulls down. So I've selected my gamer picture that I want. Now save to file. I'm just going to save this in my downloads folder. I name the same thing, target holiday. Save. Successfully created file. Awesome. Now I'll go ahead and minimize that. I'll minimize our website. Open that downloads folder or wherever you saved the file of your gamer picture. Drag that over into Horizon. Now you're going to click create gamer pick pack. Click your gamer picture. Right here, this is where you can name your gamer picture. Same thing, target holiday. And I'm going to click Save to device, flash drive. The following packages were successfully transferred. Awesome. Press OK. Close that. And as you can tell, inside our flash drive, we have our gamer picture pack. And you can always add more gamer pictures. One thing to note is, with this software, let's say I added like um, 100 gamer pictures, it can kind of get bogged down and be a bit slow. So just note that if it ever starts to get laggy, just be patient and let things load whenever you're exporting slash saving the file. So now that we have our gamer picture on our USB flash drive, let's unplug that to our computer, unplug that from our computer and make our way back to the Xbox. As you can see, our memory unit slash USB was plugged back into our console. So now, I'll just hit the guide button, make our way over to our profile, and let's change this gamer picture to the target dog. As you can see, I've done this for a lot of other gamer pictures. There's really cool stuff you can find like this, or like a controller, easter egg, golden easter egg. And as you can see, our target dog is right there. So I'll press A, and there we go, boom. Just like that. Now, if your gamer picture doesn't let you select it normally, this means that you aren't connected to Xbox Live. So, like I said again, guys, make sure that you are connected to Xbox Live so that you can press A on the gamer picture and it actually sticks to your profile. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you all for watching.